With me today is Jeff Greenblum, CEO of Anagolf Resources Inc. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you, Bernhardt, and thank you for having me. Jeff, we had a news release last week uh, which was stating that you found uh, significant hydrocarbons in 1711, but you decided not to join for the testing. Why is that? Well, uh, let me explain. I think I believe that our, our the news release that came out was highly was misunderstood by some of the investing uh, some of the shareholders and investors. Uh, and basically, uh, the key thing that happened in this uh, Cooney Number One well is that we we encountered significant hydrocarbons, which means. That, that we now know there are hydrocarbons in that block, meaning there's gold in them that are hills. And, and the risk going in to drilling this well was, the main risk was, are there hydrocarbons? Now, if we would have drilled and not found hydrocarbons, then we would have had a, a failure. But no, we had, it was really a big success. It adds to the value of Intergolf's interest in this block because we now know there's hydrocarbons in them, their hills, in the block 1711. So because of that, we're really excited about that. Now your question about why, then why aren't you in the test, you know, would be a logical question. Well, that, 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 that question is really misunderstood uh, because uh, in, in normal, in basic industry practice on drilling deep offshore uh, wildcat wells, meaning the first well drilled in an area deep offshore, uh, uh, industry players usually do not test their well. The well is a test. And we got such volumes of information, we don't feel this test is going to yield many more further results for us than we already have. Uh, so. Uh, and we've we've studied uh, the drill the testing program uh, that, that our operator uh, Sintes Neftigas has proposed, and uh, my, uh, my my technical consultants, being my geophysical team and my deep offshore drilling consultant, have come to the unanimous conclusion that a test is not necessary at this time and not going to yield us the results, uh, any further results, and especially for the expense and cost that it's going to take to, uh, to run this test. Now, uh, Sintes and Petroza have elected to go forward with the test, and that's their economic decision. I respect their decision. And, and guess what? If the well test is, is, is successful, well, I and Intergolf and our shareholders will be the happiest people you know, in the world, and we can rejoin into that test, and, and basically we just pay double what would be our, uh, our our share of the expenses. And how is the further time planning for Block 1711 now? Well, uh, Bernard, we're ready to we're ready to get rocking and rolling on doing our work to uh, to to get this to to find other drill prospects, other drill locations on the block, and. Uh, the work that's going to we need to do is get our geophysical team together. We're going to have to uh, evaluate all this information that came back. We've got tons of drill cuttings. Uh, we've got uh, a log, different kinds of logs. We ran seven uh, log, seven uh, logs with seven suites to it. Uh, we've got core samples to analyze, and then all this has to be calibrated uh, to uh, you know, we have to the other information to the 3D, and and, uh, and so we've got a lot of work ahead of us. But now we've got a lot of information to go forward. We we're actually kind of drilling a little bit blind before because we didn't know if there were hydrocarbons out there. Now we know. So now we're going to chase the, uh, how we, our work's going to be to chase the migration pathways and chase those hydrocarbons and pin down where the hydrocarbons are going to be in an economic uh, reservoir. So uh, probably we got about four months of, uh, of uh, technical evaluation and then uh, we'll, we'll see what we need to do. From there, we might need to run another 2D size line off of a good looking prospect that we'll see. Uh, the Hartman is still in play, and we see other, some other very interesting uh, prospects on the block. So we've now got about 960,000 acres 
and add a lot of value, and uh, and, and we're going to be, and, and, and basically also the Kunin is still not out of uh, out of range. You know, we that hasn't been toasted, so we just now just get it back with all this information, and figure out where our next drill location is going to be, and have a successful drill location is going to be the work, and then hopefully we'll be drilling another well on the block within uh, a year plus or minus. And uh, well, what about uh, your second project, the Lochi block? You just finished the AMEC survey. Uh, how 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 do the results looking? How how is the the further proceeding with uh, the survey? Uh, well, that that uh, is looking good. We just uh, the Aero Mag and Gravity Mag uh, operation was just completed. And actually, now the information that was gathered uh, out of that operation, uh, that, that data has been processed, and we just actually received it in our Houston offices uh, yesterday. Uh, we've had a quick look see at it, and it actually yielded uh, those type of results we were looking for. And, uh, and that block now is looking uh, very prospective. And that, that information is going to obviously be key to uh, helping us design the seismic program that needs to be run out on the, uh, uh, on the Lochi block. Uh, so, so now we're going to design the program and, uh, and then go forward and get a uh, seismic contractor to go run seismic. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited about the Lochi block. Some weeks ago you reported about uh, 10 million uh, cash on your bank account. How will that look like when you finish 1711 now? How much money will be left for for other things and, and the Lotus block? Well, we're, we're still in business, and uh, and we're going to have after all bills are paid, uh, our share of bills are paid for the uh, for the Cunin number one well. I, I, I project uh, we'll have a, uh, our cash flow analysis. I project that we'll have about you know eight million dollars plus or minus uh, in the bank going forward. And are you planning any any private placement for the closer future or? Well right, right now we're not uh, planning a private placement. Okay. At this point in time obviously we'll need to do that in the future but right now we're I, don't, I, think, I believe we have enough uh, cash to keep rolling. Yeah, for right now. 10 million minus something and we'll keep you in business for a while. Are there any any more projects, any new projects you're looking for at the moment? Well, we're always looking for new projects. Um, we're actually now uh, evaluating uh, another prospect. Uh, might be similar to the uh, to the uh, new name, the Block 1711, and uh, we're, we're in the process of evaluating it and see if we're interested in participating in this prospect. That's what on right now as far as uh, evaluating other prospects. Okay. Jeff, thank you very, very much for the update. It was a pleasure to have you here. And uh, well, good luck for with Lochi for, for the next. And uh, we're looking forward to hear about 1711 and uh, what came out there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bernard. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.